it's really funny to be in the space that you've been modeling for so long, you know. And it looks just like it. Like, yeah, that's, that's amazing. the amazing thing is that it's, it's really close. Yeah. We've thought for a long time about how art and design and sound can encourage ways of thinking or ways of being. Right. The Locust Projects didn't shy away from a fully sensory experience. The Sabil Kutab, it's a square two-story structure in Egypt that's located at crossroads where the bottom level is a fountain and the top level is a school. It's this idea of quenching literal and figurative thirst, the thirst for knowledge and thirst for the body. We thought, what if there was a future version of this structure that was a gift from our ancestors yeah. that would help us in this indeterminate time where water is under threat of privatization and knowledge is under threat being contested. How can we redefine what is knowledge, you know, outside of the Western canon and really outside of the human canon? Mm. And that's what's been great about working at Locust is it's given us the chance to develop this new textural, sonic, visual, sensory language. It sort of sets the tone for alternate ways of thinking and being. Yeah. It doesn't belong to anyone, right? It's inviting and open to all, and it doesn't limit who the audience is. We envision the space as a place for people to gather. A space that activates discussion or activates contemplative thought or makes you pause. This top area is about the exchange of knowledge. You'll see that there's no text here yeah. uh, anywhere. We're interested in the knowledge of texture. We're interested mm. in the knowledge of, of sound and granular sonic experiences and smell and water and thirst and quenching thirst. Yeah. And so we wanted to communicate with a new symbolic language. For a heightened sensory perception. The thinking was, if in this future world, animals, mammals, minerals, mm. fungi, can communicate with electricity because there's these common elements that run between us, what would that sound like? In this future, we've developed a, a greater skill to listen, and so I wanted to create this future soundscape of communication between different beings. To sort of take you out of your way of thinking and think about receiving information and communicating information in a nonverbal way. Yeah. That's the kind of thing that I'm hoping people will think more deeply about.